Hello, Joe from Joe K Models here. Got all of these into place now. And as I described in the last video, I did them one by one, making sure they all lined up. So, hoping that will make things easier down the line. The next thing that I'm looking at now is doing the interior color. So, obviously I want not only the cockpit piece here to be painted the interior gray color, but also the, the inside of the fuselage and also the, the underside of, of the top here. Also going to want some of that color to be on the sides as well. So right now I'm just strategizing how I want to do that. And I think since I'm going to need to, or rather I would prefer to airbrush the cockpit part because there's a lot of different angles and structures on there, I might as well just prep all of this to be airbrushed and do it all in one shot. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to mask these windows here from the underside. And as I'm thinking about it, I'm going to use this micro mask here just to put some in there so that way I don't paint over these clear pieces here. Then once I have the micro mask in place, I will do a primer and then I will do the actual color. So looking at the color chart, it's going to be the G, this light gray, and I did some cross-referencing online um, since they're only giving uh, Humbrol and the GSI callouts there, what that might translate to uh, Tamiya. And I got some different references as far as that goes. So I'm gonna use a sky gray and deck tan. I'm going to mix these two colors together to get an approximation and go from there. So that's where I'm at right now and let's get started. All right, so I have all of the windows masked from the inside, and I've got everything glued onto this board here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with a primer. Since this is going to be a light gray interior color, I'm just going to use a white primer to keep the tone light. And I'm going to go outside and add that now. So for the interior gray color, I'm going to be doing three parts sky gray to one part deck tan. And then I'm going to be mixing an equal amount of parts isopropyl alcohol. You can also use the regular Tamiya thinner as well as the, um, as the thinner. So that's what I'm going to do next.
Okay, so got all the parts painted here. This is the final result. Quite happy with the way that it turned out. Looks looks pretty close to my eyes. So I'm obviously going to want to seal this and protect it with a gloss coat. But first I'm going to do a little bit more of the detail painting so that I can get that out of the way and then just uh, protect everything at once. So I'm going to be painting the dashboard the black color and also I'm going to be doing a little bit of the cockpit detail painting now. All right, so I got all the interior painted here, the gray color. I did a little bit of detail painting on the cockpit, so just added some color. Not a lot of reference pictures in color for the for the TB. Um, looked up some other models and uh, some different references in video games, and noticed that the seats looked to be leather, so I painted those a leather color, and uh, added some color here to the control surfaces the wheel the control wheel and did the control panel right there so i painted a nato black i kind of like doing nato black as opposed to just a regular black because um, it, it adds a little bit more of a dynamic tone i feel so i'm letting all of this dry right now that's all the time i'm going to have for on, on this vlog but the next one i'm going to be looking at sealing everything doing um a little bit of weathering, just some basic panel line stuff, and some dry brushing here on the on the control panel, and then we can look at after that sealing it up with a dull coat, and then looking at actually doing the assembly of the fuselage. So appreciate you sticking around, and I'll see you on the next one. This is Joe from Joe K Models.